Hey everybody, I've got something to show you if you are creating a 3D object for your hydrodynamics challenge. And, and this, this is how you're going to put it into your PSA. So open up 3D Builder and open up the object you're working on. Ooh, not that one. Let's open a different one. There we go. Okay, so now you've got your object. This part is important. First thing you want to do is click on the three lines up here and go down to Save As. And then you're going to change the format to OBJ, Object. And I'm going to make my train, since I already have a train named Practice Train, I'm going to call this one Practice Train OBJ dot OBJ. Because that's object. I need to know the object from the regular one. And it says some information might be lost uh, when saving to this format. Well, you know, it's going to happen. It's not going to look exactly the same. Then I'm going to have you open up a new tab and do a search for Sketchfab. Or you can just type sketchfab.com, just like this. So it's Sketch, F-A-B, Fab. You're going to sign up. And you're going to sign or continue with Google. Let's create a free account because you can do it for free. And of course, you're going to use your school Google account. And you're going to say you agree, you've read and agree, and create your account. Oh, and if your username is not available, just add a change the number. Test 147. That's a good number. See if that works. Yeah. Now, what you want to do is upload models for 3D sharing. And you can make your, um, I'm going to say designer, your profile. You can add a photo or you can just continue. And yeah, we want to continue for free. One upload a month. That's all you need, right? So look at all you have to do now is click on upload. And then browse. Now I saved mine in 3D objects and it's called practice train object object obj dot obj. Now go to upload files and let it do its magic. So make sure your title is what your object is. If you're creating a, a solar powered skimmer that scoops plastic trash, uh, come up with a cool name for it and then describe it. You know, solar powered skimmer that scoops plastic trash onto a container for recycling. Be specific in your description. I'm going to write practice train for education purposes. I use this train to teach my students how to use 3D Builder to make their own 3D objects. Be specific. Okay, this is what you want to do. And then you can select categories. I'm going to make mine cars and vehicles because, hello, it's a train. And for tags, I'll add education slash K-12 because that's what I do with my stuff. Now, this is what your object is going to look like. It loads on your blog. And for some reason, mine ends up on the side. I really don't like that. But people who go to your blog will be able to rotate and see your object in three dimensions. So here's how you finish. First of all, click on uh, free because you want people to download your stuff. That's why you're sharing it. And then go to save and publish. It's really important that you save and publish. Then go to got it. See my model. And by the way, if you forget what I'm showing you, don't forget. You can rewind me. You can pause me and then do. You got to remember that. All right, now scroll down on the page and right here, see that? Click on embed. There's your code. Click on copy to clipboard. Now you've got half the battle done. Let's go here to blogger. Find the post 
where you want to put this uh, 3D object into. Now this part's important, okay? So do this exactly like I'm going to show you. Move your cursor to where you want your object to be. If it's in between two paragraphs, make sure the cursor is blinking in between two paragraphs. Then write the word here. Watch this next part. This is why you wrote the word here. We're going to change the setting from Compose view with the pencil to HTML view with the two angle brackets. Now look what happens. You get to see the code that makes your blog look like it does. Don't mess with anything. You mess with anything, you're going to make your blog not look right. But go to the very bottom and look for the word here. Now, you need to find the right word here. If you've written here in your paragraph and you're not sure it's the right word, then go back and type a word that is nowhere else because you need to highlight just the word, just like that. This is important. Then you're going to do control V to paste. Look what I just pasted. A whole bunch more code. Ah, let's get out of here. Go back to compose view. Whew, you did it. That was it. Now when you go to publish, all right, I'm going to confirm that. And you go to view, remember, click on the eyeball. Here's what you should see. You now have an embedded 3D model that anyone can see, and they can click on full screen, make it huge, play, it loads for them. Now, anyone in the world who views your blog can get a complete 3D view zooming in and out of the model you created to solve your water pollution problem. I know, right? This is fantastic. So even if you're not creating a solution, if you want to play with this and write a blog post where you just show off your 3D models, you now know how. And remember, um, if you create something amazing and you want me to print it, uh, send it to me. Send me a file. I will print it for you, okay? Especially if it's something amazing that nobody's created before. And then we'll just figure out a way to get it to you if you're in cohort C. All right, everybody. Thank you and happy 3D building.